All right, guys, believe it or not, this is my first time building my own standalone stock harness, as you can see, stock computer down there, and then uh, the magical fuel bucket, of course, and OBD2 port. Everything actually was way simpler than I thought. Uh, it's just, you know, looming it and making it pretty then. And this is a, this is that motor with 356,000 miles on it. And that is Jamie's dead BMW battery that has like eight volts, <laughs> but we have to use it. Usually in my experience, because when you have that guy turned all the way up and some other stuff, you need the conditioning, like to smooth out the voltage. Otherwise it's all over the place and the ECU actually has trouble. So what's also funny is this fuel pump I have, I thought was good, is not that great, but good somewhat. It runs 20 pounds of fuel pressure wide open, so we compensated in the tune. So what I do here is I, I turn my fuel pump on and then we turn all the voltage boosters up. There's actually nothing even returning on the fuel return right now, which is funny. And then uh, he banks the starter. Fires right up. Nice and neat. Actually, let's turn the thing down and see what happens. And then we'll turn the key off. Dude, that's the key. <laughs> but easier than I thought. I don't have any transmission wiring in this harness. It didn't come with any. So I figured it would be the easiest one to take down and learn how to use, but actually simpler than I thought. So I'll get a decent fuel pump and I'm thinking about building a rig that holds everything on like the back with some switches on it. But other than that, that's my standard mufflers and all the other bullshit, but way easier than I thought. Has this guy melted yet? Nope. So good for now. Huh.